We told you on the news at 5:30 about an unexploded military device that was found last week near the entrance of the Savannah River Canal. Well, that device was safely removed and disposed of. But the same can't be said for one famous bomb off of Tybee Island. Our Shay Schrader joins us now live from Tybee, and Shay, we're talking about that Tybee atomic bomb. Mike, that's right, and it really is kind of a favorite story around here. And that story goes that on February 5, 1958, that's 65 years ago this Sunday, an atomic bomb was dropped off the coast of Tybee Island and was never found again. The government stopped looking for it a long time ago, but that hasn't stopped people from talking about it. February 5, 1958, two military planes were carrying out a training exercise. The problem came when a fighter jet crashed into a bomber, which had an atomic bomb on board. In order to land safely, because Hunter Airfield was still under construction, in order to land safely, the only way they could do that was to drop the bomb in the water off of Tybee Island. The U.S. military launched a recovery effort the next day. They called off the search after a little over a month, and to this day, the bomb hasn't been found. Since then, it's become the source of tall tales and legends. There was some vague notion that maybe a Russian submarine came in and, and found the bomb and hauled it off. But if that ever happened, it was never substantiated. There are different accounts of whether the bomb was actually live when it was lost, which causes people to speculate about what kind of risk it poses. If it were to go off, some say that the explosion would be a mile wide and that the after effects would be up to 10 times that amount. Any threat from the weapon is something Tybee Islanders have taken in stride. Joe Inglesby finds the story intriguing, intriguing enough to put it on a t-shirt. You got hats and t-shirts and sweatshirts and just all kind of merchandise. And um, yeah, I guess that's been almost 20 years ago. Inglesby's shirts have become such a hot item in local souvenir shops, he's planning on launching a website and an Instagram page to sell more. He finds that people just can't get enough of the Tybee bomb. You find out more facts about it and this and that. So, you know, it's, uh, it can go on forever, but there's always someone that wants to know something about it or thinks they know something about it. It's, it's a good topic for Tybee anyway. The Department of Energy believes that bomb, which would have been over 7,000 pounds, is probably sitting in the Wausau Sound off of Little Tybee Island. Live on Tybee, Shay Schrader, WTOC News.